How are you guys and girls? Welcome back to another fun episode. This time we're talking to you about garnishes. I'm here with Mr. Oliver Diak. Hey. Oliver, thank you very much for joining us on this fantastic video. You've just seen yeah, a couple you. of clippets of Oliver and his flaring skills, but I bet you didn't know that he's a pretty badass mixologist as well. So garnishes are great to learn because as you know, my channel is mostly about flair bartending and flair adds that flamboyance to your bartending skill. And garnishes do exactly the same thing. They're just as important as the cocktail itself, right? Exactly. And if you can make great garnishes, it's just gonna give that finishing touch to your cocktails and your drinks. So Ollie over here is gonna show us five super deluxe badass ragamuffin and ting inside the ride garnish massive selection, uh, which you can learn today. Super simple, super easy, and really effective. Is that right? Yep. Good, good, good talk, <laughs> nice. <laughs> okay, if you like this video, don't forget to give it a like or a thumbs up, and if you haven't subscribed, have you subscribed, Oli? I have, of course. Yeah, thank, thank, thank you very much. Uh, you can subscribe just a little bit down below. There's a button, it's either under here, or it's under the, exactly under there. If you hit subscribe, and you'll be notified if you click the little bell every time I upload a new video. Mm. Without further ado, let's get straight on to our first garnish. It's gonna be orange zigzag zest. Zigzag okay. Zest. What we're gonna need for this is gonna be a nice, fresh orange, not too soft, not too hard. We will need just how we like it. Yeah. <laughs> we will need a zigzag scissor. We will need a potato or citrus peeler. We have to grab the orange in this way. Top and, and top and bottom. Top and bottom, and we have to zest it all the way through from the beginning to the end. It's a nice long zest. From this, we actually, we can make two separate ones. Now we're gonna use the, the scissor, cut it half, and then cut the edge, edges. Edge, edges. That's it. Look at that. It looks like this. You can still squeeze it, you can <laughs> twist it, but it looks better just like dropping Super in a easy. drink. Nice, man. Awesome. Uh, have you got a bonus tip for us? Yeah. The bonus tip, we can buy a cake what? cutter or any other shape that doesn't have to be hot. And then you place it on the top on the zest, you push it down. And here we go. We have a nice heart in the middle. Or what you can do, if you have a straw, you get it out. And if you make a nice sour, you can place it on the top on the foam. It's a super easy to do, super um, easy to make. You just gotta get yourself some zigzag scissors. If you don't have zigzag scissors, you get a knife and you do each zigzag. <laughs> <laughs> this is a spear. No, this one. Oh, the grail. The grail. All right, so talk us through this one. We've got less objects here. Um, let's know what's going on. We're gonna do an ice nest. An ice nest. Oof. Ice nest. Ice nest. Okay, yeah. how do you do this? So we will need, uh, how you call it? This is a wooden stick. A wooden stick? No, otherwise you can get like a, it's like a, a skewer, a large skewer, or a big toothpick, or a big wooden stick with a spike on the end. Or a thinner a straw as well. It or a thinner be. straw as well. Uh, we will need a Mexican elbow. We will need crashed ice. Okay. And just now we will need the grill, the Tommy D grill, to place the ice on the top and then we can show how you can use it. This is just for presentation purposes only and to get in a shameless plug of the grail jigger. Alright, so this one, I've seen you do this one before. This one's really nice to use. It can make, really give another dynamic to your cocktail. Uh, and you, like, go on and talk us through what you do. So we're going to place the crushed ice inside the Mexican Full to the top. Pull to the top. Pull to the top. We close it. You have to put in a larger part. We close it. And just if you would squeeze uh, a citrus fruit, you do exactly the same. So you hold it like this, and meanwhile, the ice starts melting. And uh, like sticks together, right? Sticks together, and you're gonna get the shape, what we actually need. And you hold it, what, 10, yeah. 20 seconds? Roughly 10 seconds. But on the other side, there are some holes where usually the fruit juice is coming out. That's where I'm gonna place my stick and push it out. Ah, so you push that down and lift that up at the same yeah, time? because otherwise the dice will stick here. So I wouldn't be able to Upstairs for thinking. It. Then I remove this nest. Gently. Gently, and I just place it 
on the top on the grill. We can choose an option what we would like to put as a guy. Boom! Let's move on to garnish number three. What's up next, Dolly? We're gonna have the egg shell. Oh, exciting name, good choice. Egg All right, sorry, carry on. So, what are we doing? We'll need the peg, Small because peg. we would like to place the egg shell on the side of the glass. Blackberry like liqueur. Nice. So first of With all, with the TD one hundred five thirty on top, right? it's just, so, <laughs> just to throw another shameless just plug in. <laughs> <laughs> As I lean on the Tom's the tiki shaker, hardware. which is right. Here. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> carry on, carry on. So we have to put the egg topper on the top on the egg. Egg topper, top egg makes yes, sense. We hold it tight, very very tight, and then one, two, and I hopefully yes, Boom. enough, and then we. Please, please. Yep. There we go. Fantastic. This one is broken. Nobody cares. I'll take care of that. Yeah. And here, what we have to do, we just take a napkin, dry it slightly bit. Nice. All right. So once you've got that, what do you do with this eggshell? Let's say this is our sour. We're going to peg it on the side to the glass. And let's say my sour need an extra blackberry liqueur, but I don't want to pour it inside. So I give the option for the customer to choose if they want to have it inside or not inside, separate with the glass. Oh, not with the cocktail, yeah. Nice. And then we just pour a little bit of liqueur inside. And here we go. And when we present to the customers, we give them the option to pour it in or just drink it separate. <music> We're going to move on to garnish numero quattro. This next one is a good one. You're going to like this. Okay, uh, garnish number four. We've got some stuff going on right here. What's next on the agenda? We're going to make a golden sugar coin. Yeah, we are. That's right. So what do we need for this? We will need granulated sugar. Then we will need a spoon. We will need the knife. A knife. A knife. <laughs> we will need the orange what we peeled before. Nice. So it's going to cut halfway. And Not then... wasting it. And you know, we were not wasting it. We need a blowtorch. What else we need? And it's an option. You can use gold crunch on the top, so it's gonna be super colorful and super posh. <laughs> so first step, we are gonna cut the orange half. Half! We're gonna place this one. Oh wait. We don't need this one, no? No yet. I'm gonna eat it. And then, basically the good thing is when we place the sugar on the top on the fruit, the sugar have a good um, reaction with the fruit, so basically the sugar start collecting the flavor of the fruit. So basically the, the taste is going to be like caramelized orange flavored coins. Alright, I was hungry a little bit. So we're going to place the sugar nicely on the top. Oh, you need quite a bit of sugar to do this, right? Yeah, a, a good amount. So it has to cover completely the top. Because when you, when you start putting that sugar onto the orange, the sugar starts to soak into the orange. So you want to get a nice amount on there and obviously the more sugar you put, the thicker the coin is going to be as well. Because when we remove the, the coin, it can break if it's not enough thick. So it's kind of heavy, it's better if you're making it thick in the beginning. Okay, okay it was nice and thick. Yeah. Then we're going to start... Flame on! Flame on! Flaming it. Make sure you're not can starting super close. Yeah. You have to make it from a little bit further away because otherwise you're just straight burning the sugar. Like the this, you're going to start melting, caramelizing slowly, slowly. The sugar fly flies off as well. A little bit. Because the additional wastage. We can eat it. It's the angel share. Angel share. And now you can get closer slowly. Mm. So in this stage, when it's still fresh, oof. <laughs> In this stage, you, I got it, I got it, I got it. This stage, you can put the, the, the sugar on the top, the gold. Go on, go crazy. Yeah. Oh, here we go. So there's two options. Meanwhile, you're making your drink. You can place it in the ice. I mean, the sugar doesn't have to touch the ice, just the bottom part. Or you can place in the fridge. Uh, and in roughly around 10 seconds or 15 seconds, it's going to be done. And we are able to remove it. Nice, you're already part counting. Make sure, meanwhile, you're making your drink, okay? So okay, we're wasting time. Go! 
one, two, three, four, five. <laughs> Should be done. All right. Yeah. <laughs> now we need the knife and we start cutting from the side. Be careful not to cut yourself. And you, from what I've seen you do this before, you kind of just slice it off like a... Yeah, go around nicely, slowly, Take your time. Gently. Yeah. Once you get into the rhythm, it's easy to remove it. Don't, don't try and leverage it up like this. Don't try and lift up. Just cut across like that slowly and take your time and it'll come off beautifully. Ready? In three, two, one, coin. <laughs> Still warm as well. And then, go on, I'll let you place it. Uh, when you're trying out this garnish, obviously be very careful with the fire and the knife. Take your time, don't rush it, correct? Yep, absolutely. And, um, Again, if you have any questions about doing this and you're not sure, whack it in the comments box below. Let us know and we'll get back to you as quickly as we can. Moving on to garnish numero cinco um, with one more, which you may have seen before, but Oliver's going to show you a very simple, quick and easy way to do this garnish. Oliver, what have we got going on? We're going to have an apple fun. I would recommend you to buy always green apples because they are strong, not soft, and they have really good sticky juice. Sticky juices. Because mm. the apple juice is like uh, almost like a glue. Nice. So, we will need a knife, we will need uh, the wooden stick. stick. You can use a toothpick or like a prism stick. So what oh. we're gonna do, we're gonna cut the edge so not directly through the middle, it's like you go from the middle and slightly to one edge. We don't want the seeds in it. You don't want the seeds in it, in it, in it, bruv. Then we have to cut a slightly bit of out from the end. Or you can eat that bit. Or you can eat that. So we start in this position. Okay. Mm -hmm. Then we start cutting not so thick and by not so thin slices as well. A couple of millimeters, right? Yeah, sort of. If it's too thin, Sometimes you may do a mistake and cut through. If, it, if it's too thick, it doesn't look really cool. I just cut now five separate ones. So basically we can open up. And how I said about the juice, it actually keeps it separate. So we could use just like this on the glass, but it wouldn't stay nicely. So that's why we have this little bad boy here. So we can put it through. Um, and we can place it on the side of the glass. Look at that. Awesome. Just be careful when you're using a knife as well. I missed it once. <laughs> <laughs> Super Kim Duper. Right, that is five garnishes which you can start practicing today. So let us know what you think about this video. If you like it, give it a thumbs up, hit the like button down below, uh, and uh, we'll probably be doing more videos like this. Thank you very much, Oli, for being a part Thank of this. Thank you. We appreciate it a lot. Thanks. They were awesome. I even learned something because I know how to do a lot of those garnishes, but you did them extremely well so they can get, so you can get it right every Thank single time. Go check out Oli on his Instagram channel. It's Oliver, O-L-I-V-E-R underscore Diak. I'll put it on the screen or in the description below so you can find it. Go and check him out, send him a message, tag us on your Instagram stories with your garnish cocktails or your flare, uh, or your flare moves and your little routines and sequences. And uh, Oliver, is there anything you want to say to the lovely people out there watching this video? Make sure you practice your garnish because this is the first impression what the person going to get when they're receiving the drink. Garnish, aroma and then the taste. So make sure you practice. Exactly. Practice your garnish like you practice your flair. Ollie, thank you very much once again. Thank you very much. Thank you for watching, ladies and gents. And until Thanks, next time, we'll see you then. Okay, you can go. Yeah.